Hello friends, welcome back. Good morning to you. So it is officially November, which means Halloween is over and Christmas is in. <laughs> Every year I just transition into Christmas very early on. No shade to Thanksgiving, you're fun, you're cute, but Christmas is where it's at. It is finally starting to get cold. I'm so excited. I had to turn off my little mini heater because it's a little loud. But for today's agenda, I thought I'd go ahead and do something a little fun that I've never done before. I thought I'd go ahead and take my fine self out on a date. <laughs> so. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, I'm sure that you guys know that I have been doing long distance with my boyfriend for almost a year now. <laughs> I did visit him for six weeks in the summertime and in exactly one week from now, he's going to be coming here to California for the first time. Every day I've been getting so hyped up and I'm excited to be able to go out on dates with him again. But you know, 90% of the time, we're not near each other at all. <laughs> he is all the way in Italy, I'm here in California. And I noticed that I don't really prioritize like giving my Self, that quality time and attention that I feel like I'm missing out on. There's something kind of special about spending time with yourself and genuinely asking, what do you want to do today? Where do you want to go? What would bring you joy? <laughs> like take yourself out. So I'm super excited to take myself out on some fun outings I've been wanting to do. And I'm just gonna take you guys along with me as I always do. <laughs> Cute, we're finished. <laughs> All right, now let's get dressed and head on out. Okay, I'm getting excited because the sun is starting to come out. It was raining last night, so it was super cloudy this morning, but it's starting to look like a good day. All right, so first on the list for taking myself out, I think I'm gonna check out some plants today. I'm ready for my third plant, baby. I think I can take on the responsibility now. All right, let's go ahead and head out. The store I wanted to check out today is Pigment. They have a huge array of houseplants and these are just the ones that they have displayed outside. The inside of this store is so darn too and cute. If you're ever in San Diego, this is a great shop for souvenirs and trinkets. This is actually one of my favorite stores for birthday shopping. Like I definitely got my friend Kimmy this cup for her birthday. She loved it. But also my heart was absolutely melting because they put out all of their Christmas decor. They had beautiful books and candles and I was going to town looking at their ornaments. Like these pink little gnomes? Are you kidding? I was also admiring these little mouse ornaments. They had a homemade feel to them and I love that this little guy was staying warm with the scarf. But anyway, the Christmas decor was distracting me from my original mission, which was to find a new plant baby. Pigment has this huge wall of different kinds of succulents and I believe cacti? Is that the plural for cactus? <laughs> also, babes, look at this tiny, tiny plant pot. I thought it was cute until I saw it was $11.95 just for this plant the size of my thumb, the heck? 
but it's all good. I ended up finding a plant that I really love and I was going to head to my next destination, but by chance, I noticed a farmer's market on the street. There was a huge plant stand there, so I guess I could have gotten a plant from here, but they also had a huge flower tent, so I thought I'd treat myself since it is a date after all. <laughs> Uh, okay, how freaking cute. I always forget how expensive farmer's markets in California are. I mean, I'm sure the prices are expensive everywhere, but just wanted to support some local florists. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's definitely a little bit of a guilty pleasure, but you know what? It's date day. Date day? Date night? No, it's still the daytime date day <laughs> so there's actually a thrift shop kind of in the area that i wanted to check out and this time i am not thrifting for clothes i've already done so much i'm actually looking for a painting and i haven't been thrifting for like home decor stuff in a really long time so i'm super excited Alrighty, so unfortunately I didn't find a painting that I liked, which is totally fine. I'm in no rush. I'd rather be patient and find like the one. I ended up walking over to Goodwill too, and they also had nothing, so oh well. Now I am thinking of heading to the beach. It's only like 4.40 right now, but because the sun keeps setting earlier and earlier, I think I'm actually going to make it for once. Let's go to the beach, beach. Minky massage. A lot of people don't know this but there are a lot of secret spots here near Wind and Sea Beach and look at this view! my journal I don't know if that's a romantic date activity to like come to the sunset at the beach journal talk about your inner thoughts I thought it was kind of romantic and besides date day is about doing what makes you feel good and this is what I feel like doing today <laughs> Okay, I can't really see the sunset from that nook, so let's get a better view. Okay, I literally hauled ass to get this spot. I literally feel like that song that's like, the sun is chasing the sun, oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, I'm literally chasing the sun, so let's go. Thank Live God we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it! Somehow we had to stay grounded for more than five years And I'm terrified for you now, shall of the woman I once knew I hope I'll find you
All right, besties, so I thought we'd go ahead and end our date night with a little Netflix and chill. Bounce, go wow, wow. Yeah. But anyway, I know it might sound kind of weird, but I actually don't watch movies by myself. I have absolutely no problem watching YouTube or TV shows by myself, but for some reason, like watching movies was something I kind of strictly <laughs> reserved for just me and my boyfriend. There's actually this one song by Tovalo. She actually came out with a super good album, but in the song, No One Dies From Love, there's this line that she repeats over and over that goes, I miss the cool things we do, but what I miss the most is watching movies with you that line is so simple but it just struck me right in the heart i just miss doing the day-to-day -day stuff with my partner but i'm all cozied up i made popcorn actually the other night i did attempt to watch a movie because my dad asked me if i wanted to watch something with him and we watched um i think it's all quiet on the western end i believe that was a huge mistake that was a world war one movie and it ripped me to shreds. If you wanna be emotionally unstable, watch that movie. <laughs> but I just can't put myself through something that emotionally taxing again. So I think I'm gonna watch a movie that I've already seen before. Call Me By Your Name is now on Netflix. Is this new? <laughs> is this movie controversial now because Army Hammer is like kind of a freak? <laughs> Sorry. Army Hammer is scary. So I don't know if that's gonna ruin the movie for me, but say so yeah, I wanted you make yourself cozy and we'll do a movie night. It's Army. Love to Nippy though. Hiya friends. Sorry, I didn't film an outro because by the end of that movie, I was not in the right state of mind. <laughs> I was actually very proud of myself watching the movie because I didn't cry the entire time. It wasn't until the very final scene. If you've seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not trying to give any spoilers, but you know the last scene when Elio is just crying by the fireplace? That is when I just started bursting into tears. <laughs> so yeah, after that, I just had a good cry and went to bed. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm feeling great now. <laughs> I'm really happy that I had a little date day with myself. I feel really recharged. Oh, also, I just wanted to share that I put my flowers in a vase. It looks so beautiful. I have that right here on my desk. Also, I wanted to show you guys the plant that I picked out. This is a Chinese money plant. This little pot that I put it in, this actually used to be a candle holder. <laughs> my mom just saved it and took the wax out and it just fits perfectly in here. So it looks so cute on my little shelf. I feel like my whole desk area is just looking so my style. So, so cute. So yeah, just thought I'd share that. Like I said, date day is as simple as just doing things that make you happy. So if you guys have any activities or things that you like to do that just bring you a lot of joy, go ahead and share them in the comments. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.